you go, Congresswoman Comstock. Hey, Dan. Isn't that Congresswoman Comstock back there at the bar? Sure is. Bet you can't get her to hold a town hall. Town hall? I can do you one better than that. We've lost that love and feeling. No, Dan. <clears throat> you never hold town halls anymore with constituents. Land Parenthood and Obamacare you voted against. You're trying hard not to show it, but Barbara, Barbara, you know it. You've lost that centrist feeling, cause you've been right wing appealing. We've lost that loving feeling, now it's gone, gone, gone. You've got to go. Nice work, Dan. Thanks, Maverick. I'm Dan Helmer. I approve of town halls, bad singing, and this message. So the reaction, as we mentioned, you're talking about thousands and thousands of views online. YouTube had it as one of its top-ranked videos this week. Uh, the reviews are not exactly glowing here, Dan. I'll run through a couple of them right now. Stephen Colbert, of course, uh, who put this on his show, saying, worst political ad ever. Huffington Post saying most painfully awkward ad, and Esquire just said ad is bad. But everybody knows your name now, so does that outweigh the ad is bad comments? Hey, look, I think people are tired of the same coiffed and manicured politicians who just show up for a photo op like Barbara Comstock. They see I'm a real person. Look, I'm a terrible singer, and I love to sing. I like bad, cheesy 80s movies, and I like spoofs. His take on a Tom Cruise scene for Top Gun sent the internet into a frenzy earlier this week, and it is not stopping. Everybody knows your name now, so does that outweigh the ad is bad comment? People are tired of the same coiffed and manicured politicians who just show up for a photo op like Barbara Comstock. They see I'm a real person. Look, I'm a terrible singer and I love to sing. I like bad, cheesy 80s movies and I like spoofs. Are you serious about this? Well, we're very serious. I mean, I've been in wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. I mean, I'm serious as they come, and I'm serious about representing us, and I'm serious about making sure that people and our constituents have an opportunity to meet with me, uh, which is something that Barbara Comstock just hasn't done.